V2. Reload. Go back in. Smoked you. Alright, what is going on everybody? In today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best Type 100 class setup to use here in Season 2 of Vanguard. So with these 10 attachments right here, this Type 100 class setup is one of the most underrated close range weapons in Vanguard right now. But real quick from the attachments here, if you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on post notifications so you get notified when I post the best class setups every single day here for Vanguard. And if you don't like the video, please consider hitting that like button because it helps me to get pushed out to more people and I really appreciate it. Anyways, going to attachments here. For the first attachment for the muzzle, you're going to use the Mercury Silencer. So you get that plus one sound suppression, obviously going to keep you sound around the map the enemies are not going to know where you're shooting from then you also get that plus one recoil control which is very helpful because this weapon does have a little bit of vertical recoil without without any attachments but once you put all these attachments on this class it up you're going to be dealing with basically no recoil this makes sure you stick with the mercury sounds are here for the barrel you're going to see 134 rapid barrel so you can increase the fire and damage range here and as you go in details you can see the effective damage range is going to get increased by plus 16.7 percent there which really enough is one of the strengths of this weapon here is the effective damage range it's going to be basically a three shot time to kill from any range on any map which is just very clutch for this class setup here the fire rate also goes up by plus 22 percent there to put the fire rate is at 845 rpms this weapon that the close range is just going to absolutely delete enemies as you'll see in the gameplay and we are going to lose that on sprint of fire time aim down sight time and horizontal recoil control we're going to make up for all those negatives and later attachments here so let's make sure you stick with the 134 rapid barrel now for the optic here i'm using the slate reflector this is over my personal favorite sight to use from basically every weapon in vanguard especially on this type 100 class setup it seems like the slate reflector has the least amount of visual recoil for the weapon there but at the end of the day just use whatever optic you're most comfortable with now for the stock here we're using the warabachi skeletal stocks we get that plus two sprint at fire speed and plus one plus one movement speed again this is going to be an attachment that adds in a lot of mobility to this class setup here as you can see the movement speed goes up by plus 2.1 percent there which is very helpful to run around the map a lot faster and then the sprint of fire time also goes up by plus 8.7 percent which the sprint of fire time on this weapon is very fast so in those close range engagements you're going to most of the time be shooting your shots way before the enemies even shoot their sh first shots let's make sure you're using the warabachi skeletal stock now for the underbarrel here we use the m1941 hand stops so we get that plus one recoil control and plus one accuracy sometimes i like to use the smla pistol grip for close range setups like this one but this weapon does have a little bit of recoil that we're going to want to take care of with this uh attachment here as you can see we're going to get that plus 4.8 percent to both vertical and horizontal while we're losing on a little bit of hip fire accuracy but the hip fire accuracy on this weapon is still going to be very good this picture still got the M1941 hand stop. And for the magazine, you're going to see Russian short 30 round mags here. So you get that plus two bolt velocity range, plus two bullet penetration, and plus two damage. And as you go in detail, so you can see the damage goes up by plus 81.8% there. We're doing 40 damage per bullet, which obviously equals a three shot time to kill. And then your effective damage range again just goes through the roof there over a thousand. Your bolt velocity goes up by plus 30% there. So bolt velocity is a little bit average on this class setup. And then your aim on side time also gets increased by plus 5.5% there. So let's make sure you stick with the Russian short 30 round mags. Now for the ammo type, we're using the length ammo type so you get that plus three bolt velocity because like i said the bolt velocity on this weapon is pretty average so we're just going to add on 30 percent there to the bolt velocity just making us more effective at those longer ranges so just make sure you stick with the length and ammo type now for the rear grip here, use the fabric grip so you get that plus one aim on side speed plus one sprint to fire speed and plus one hip fire recoil recovery again just another attachment that's going to help out with the mobility of this weapon if you do struggle a little bit with the recoil if you plan like a lower fov and it's a little harder to control i'd highly recommend go with the stipple grip here but for this class setup i'm going to be using the fabric grip now for the proficiency i'm using the fleet proficiency so we get that plus one weapon swap quickness and plus one movement speed and then following here for the kit means the quick kiss so we get that plus one sprint speed just making us a lot faster on the map here's a picture of the full class and without further ado let's get into the gameplay oh my god this weapon stays shredding through enemies nope move 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 okay Okay. Tested. Am I tripping? Smoked you? Bring Das House back where we can have streaks, please. Okay, fully loaded. Come back to bite us in the nuts. Smoked you again. But a drop of fake V2. Reload. Go back in. Smoked you. Oh my lordy porty. My teammate. Sorry. Jesus, bro. We're just running through these guys. 
class is a sleeper. Like the ammo count is obviously not good or just small and a little bit annoying. Pause, but the gun hits. I mean, the recoil is not bad either. Have we died yet? I think I'm testing my luck here. Ooh, dang it, dude. Did we get the V2? I don't even know. We had to be like right there. Obviously, you can't get it because it's streakless, but. I think kill streak wise, we were right around the 25. I'm gonna have to watch it back. Spawn there again. Ah, I choked that time. Ah, we got 36 now. Bro, ammo cow gets so annoying. Fire is not bad either. Oh, smoked your ass. And we get dude, what's up with swords in my game? Yesterday's video there was a guy running around with a sword too. Not cool. Hit someone. Not you, I don't think, but Ooh, the spawn here now. No. Just leave him, just leave him, just leave him. Save me, save me, save me. Didn't save me. Not that I was expecting it, but. Oh, he about snapped on that dude. But he gets us with the sword again. Jesus, bro. Sauce him up. This thing had more ammo, bro. I'm telling you, it'd be top tier. The damage and recoil is already top tier. So lucky, bro. If the door wasn't small enough to fit only a leprechaun through it, then could have slid through and broke his camera. Put the sword down. Put it on the screen. We're good. Controller aim select. Oh, I my mouse went. Oh, I try to put one shot into him, trying to be cool. Nice. Nope. Oh, I want to grab it.
Gotcha. No, the game's about to end. The game's about to end. We get a kill. Man, up with 75. Not bad for that short amount of time. 